Apple computer chieftains, ultra super chieftain who has come down here once a year, they go behind that board and they literally quietly pay homage to what's behind there. Paying homage to what? Right. Westinghouse in 1913 came up with this idea. They strung cord along the tunnel walls. If a train stalled, a crew member would reach out and pull on that cord. On the other side of this are four huge brass bells. Under each one it says tunnel alarm and track number. It would ring one of those bells ultra loud to tell us, right, that there was a, a train out there stalled. Well, that's great, but how are we to know where in the 33 miles of track it stalled? Westinghouse in 1913, 1913, before the First World War, built the first ever, ever, ever electronic computers that could actually compute that train's exact location. Fabulous. They were so proud of it. Well, they should be. You will see. It's encased in glass. Glass. So the world could see it, so that God could see it. But now they had an even bigger problem. The computer knows where it is. How the hell are we supposed to find out? Today we have monitors, TV screens, didn't have it then. Below all those glass encased computers are ticker tape machines that would print out that train's location. Check. That entire system was obsolete by 1922 because we had voice radio communication. The people who worked down here then kept it exactly the way it was on the day it was decommissioned, even with a paper and the ticker tape machines, right, thinking maybe somebody in the 21st century would like to uh, see it. You keeping your cell phones in the 21st century? I got that, that, right. And the people who work down here now, they weren't far removed from the DNA of the people working there because it was all thick and black with dirt. They cleaned it, restored it, brought it right back to its brand new condition. Check.